Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to the Metroid Fusion speedrunning tutorial. Um, I'd like to start out by apologizing about not uploading an episode last week, um, and maybe sounding a little off today. I'm currently a little under the weather, and uh, last week was busy doing um, some sellout streaming to try to raise funds for a new laptop. Uh, this one is currently falling apart. It's being held together by tape. So if there's ever a few weeks where I'm not uploading videos for whatever reason, um, it's more than likely that my laptop uh, has been shit canned. <laughs> All right, so we left off at emergency section. The emergency section, and I, I probably won't go uh, for as long as I was anticipating today, um, just due to, you know, how I'm feeling right now, uh, unfortunately, but I'll try to impact as much information as I possibly can into this video. For emergency, we've got six minutes to get down to the bottom of Sector 3 and um, shut off the reactor. Um, and a lot of the, the, so the beginning movement in Sector 3 is going to be exactly the same. As you notice, we're kind of forced to go down to Sector 3 in this portion of the game. No choice to it. Um, so, you know, we'll be starting the same way uh, that we started it last time. We're just going to get a speed booster, break those blocks, but this time we don't have to worry about gaining a uh, shine charge. We don't have to worry about storing a spark. We can just tumble through the air if we want, and we're just going to go back up over and around. You can either uh, shoot this guy twice or, you know, do the what you did before, just roll right under him. Either way works. We're going to shoot this, and we don't really have to worry about storing the spark because we're not going to be shine sparking up. We're just going to fall down. So, now, when we fall down, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to, as I'm falling, I'm gonna fire two miss. I'm gonna fire missiles straight downwards after a little bit. Um, it's gonna be right around the square in the middle, um, halfway down. I'm gonna start firing missiles. The first two will kill the first stretchy. The second pair will kill the next one. So it'll look something like this. Oops. Something like that. Um, it's not overly like terribly complicated um i kind of messed this up just by walking into the room because you know it happens but again you're just going to walk into the room and you can start fighting so like there you saw i kind of fired a little early so that'll be like what happens when you fire just slightly early So you, you can kind of wait a few seconds, so like, on the clock, it's, let's see... About a second and a half, maybe two seconds before you start firing, um... That works. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try saving here, um... But I think it's gonna mess up the timer if I load the save, because you're not supposed to save in this section, so... Have a backup, and what we'll do is at the very end of this video, I'll just do a quick run through of um, this section uh, while it's timed. So we've got this room right here, and I'm just going to reload the save right now just to get rid of the timer. As you can see now, we're still in the emergency uh, flag, but I don't have to worry about the timer uh, in the upper right. This will never happen. You can't save in this section. You have to save prior to this section. Very important. This is only being done for um, tutorial purposes, uh, so that way I can show you guys uh, what you can expect, what these rooms look like, and the different strategies for these rooms. All right, so for this room, you're just gonna run forward, and you have two methods here. You can run, and again, if you hold up and to the left, you can see like Samus is looking diagonal up left as I'm running. If I do that and jump, I'm gonna grab the ladder immediately as soon as I hit the, the ladder on the ceiling. You can just run in and climb. You have to be careful of the, uh, the lava pillars that come up because they will hit you. Now, if you get hit on the back end of your jump, so kind of like what you just saw there, like it hits me like right, well, hang on, right about here, it can propel me forward. So what I'm doing is while I'm climbing, 
uh, I'll show you here. I'm literally holding up and to the left the entire time, and you can see that I, when I just got hit there, I, uh, you know, I, I immediately grabbed the ladder again. This is something that <clears throat> I had discussed in a previous video, um, because when you get hit, you're technically knocked off the ladder, but because you're at the same height as the ladder, um, you'll just re-grab the ladder and keep moving if you keep holding uh, upwards in the direction that you want to move. And it is beneficial to get hit um, by these lava pillars, not like that. The only beneficial way to get hit by these lava pillars is if it knocks you forward in the direction that you're moving. Um, so... Um, as you can see, like, when I get hit, I get knocked backward. If I get hit on the front end of it, I get knocked backwards, like that. Conversely, if I get hit on the back end of it, I get pushed forward a bit. It's always beneficial to get pushed forward in the direction, um, from a damage boost. It'll save you a few frames, it'll save you some time, because climbing on this ladder is not the fastest. So if it pushes you that far forward and it only takes, like, a second to do so, um, it's a little bit faster than, you know, cli uh, climbing across the ladder. You can also get hit in the uh, lava as well, which is bad. The other way you can get across here is just jump down here and jump across. Now, obviously, you want to time your jump to when you hit the, the, the bottom of the pool of lava. Press it almost immediately. Um, something like that. See there, I wasn't holding up. So when you come into the room, it'll look kind of like this. You'll just fall onto the ledge. You'll come in and jump right across. Real simple, real easy. Um, and it's a little bit faster than climbing the ladder. All right. Um, the next one, you're not, you don't really have the luxury of doing that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to reload this save real quick. And as I come into this room, what I want to do is I want to have a fully charged uh, beam at the ready. So I'll, I'll shoot the door and I'll just keep charging this. Um, I'll jump into the lava and I'll jump out and I'll R-shoot as I get out. Ideally, by doing that, I should kill that, uh, that, that Rio. No, that's not a Rio. I don't remember what that's called. Um, a little flying dude with an R-shot as you're kind of jumping out of it. Um... Again, you have to hit both parts of the beam just to kill it, so, you know, something like that. And then you really want to, you're going to have to climb across like that for this one. So this one, you have no choice. You're just going to have to uh, either jump and shoot or R-shoot as you get out, and then just start running, uh, holding up left and climbing yourself across. Now, at this point, when you get to this point of the ladder, you're going to drop off, and if you can R-shoot um, and kill that guy... You want to kill him as quickly as possible, or else he's going to kind of dip below um, and try to hit you as you're, you know, where you're standing. So you'll get hit in the legs for the most part there. It'll look something like this. You'll just come in. Oh, I got hit backwards. That's fine. And then just keep moving right along. And this one has three pillars, you can see there. So this pool here has three. The other one has two. The first one has one. Um... Again, before you jump, you know, before you, like, instead of, like, that's just one swift, you know, quick motion where you're just kind of coming down and running across, and, you know, uh, to do that one effectively, you have to jump and then hold up left after you take the shot, because you can see there, if I'm running and shooting like that, I'm just going to fire in the direction, but if I'm coming down like this, I'm going to drop and fire it as I'm dropping, so that way it fires forward, and I can just continue to, um... And then I'll press up left as, before I grab that ladder. So that's this room. Um, again, it'll look something similar to what we just did. Um, if you want to do a separate way, you can just, you know, uh, freeze uh, freeze the guy. Um, sorry, I'll just do this. Freeze and take a shot. Grab the ladder. Fire a missile. Freeze, take a shot. The reason I say it's it's better to um, to get hits in on those enemies while you're falling and in between the ladder, because if you don't, they're just going to fly directly at you, which could be problematic. <coughs> so, like, say something like that. Okay, whatever. Maybe I'll just try this, and then they're just going to fly right at you. I mean, you can still just take the hits if you want to and keep going. Um, it's still not a problem. 
Um, it's just a little faster where if you're, you know, forced to tra traverse a specific distance um, because you're falling or whatever the case may be, um, it's easier to just get that shot in um, as soon as possible. So that way you don't have to worry about, you know, stopping, um, and, you know, stop your movement and then continue onwards. It's easier just to do it when, like, you know, if you're jumping or... Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, um, where you, like, you're doing, like, a, a jump out of the lava, you can fire the shot as you're moving to the left or you're falling, you know, that specific distance, you know, you're coming down, fire somewhere in there. It's always going to be like along the ceiling, um, so it's it'll be really beneficial because you're not really going to be able to do it much extra movement there. Um, so you're kind of stuck into that movement anyway as you're moving to the left. So it's easier just to get the shot off there than say you know hitting the ground, charging it up, jumping in and shooting because at that point you're going to be losing precious time. Um, and if your goal is to get this down to a specific amount of time, it'll probably be you know. It's, it's optimizations like that that you're going to want to start to pick up on um, to just kind of cut out all those like those few extra seconds of, you know, stopping, waiting for the charge, shooting the charge, jumping up and grabbing the ladder and moving on. So in this case, and, and this this section as well has some of like the most nifty movement and uh, I'll leave in the recording when I do the, the full run by itself just like to get a, a feeling of like what it's gonna look like like what an optimal play of this is gonna look like um so this for this next room there's a couple ways that you can approach this um there's a stretchy on the wall here now you've got a nova up there that'll drop fire on you so one way you could play this is to run in and freeze him before he stretches like so or not or i'll lay a bomb for some reason oh my goodness sorry you could do a small hop, fire the missile. Oops. It's not dip. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got a wall jump there. Incredible. And then you can grab that ledge. I guess it doesn't necessarily work to have to curb the missile. Oh, it does. I was right. Okay. It'll look something like that. Um, you can do a small hop if you want. I think running with the uh, the curved missile here is going to be slightly faster at all times. Oops. Again, though, like that, like to, to get this, it's pretty precise. As you can see, I'm kind of just like running off the head a little bit. Um, I'm running off the head as I'm uh, trying to get my movement to the left. You don't actually have to like take a step. You can just land and jump immediately, kind of like that. Um... The other thing that you can do is you can kind of come in, jump, uh, and then just fire as he's coming across like this to kind of jump up without the, uh, you know, without having to wait to uh, grab the ledge. Sick dodge. Hit my ass. Um, even something as slight as that can kind of save like a, a few seconds there, but... I'm not, I think it's 6 one half dozen of the other, um, for which one ever, whichever one you want to go with. I think, I feel like the, uh, you know, running in and what I'm doing here with the curved missile is probably a little bit faster. I know I tend to, well, I'll tend to just come in and, uh, have it stretch a little bit occasionally. Um, kind of run in, jump, and then have it run and, uh, stretch so I can just continue moving on, but you'll probably save a few seconds it by not doing that easily. I think the other thing that you can do here is um, when you run in, you can kind of just jump up like that. that. That's the other thing that I think the, the one method that I tend to do um, more so because it's super consistent. You just run in, jump, and then fire a missile downwards as you're jumping over them. So you're just, essentially what you're doing in this situation is you're doing a small hop to activate the stretchy at the very beginning, like right under the Nova, like right about there. And then you're going to jump over to where he's going to extend his head. Um, and then you're going to um, fire a missile directly downwards. So as I'm jumping over him, as he, sh as he extends, I'm going to look down afterwards and fire a missile. 
if that makes sense. So those are like three completely different ways. The other way you could do it is, you know, okay, I'll destroy this guy, this guy, and then I'll, you know, continue onwards. That's as, you know, you can do that as well. Um, it is it is faster to freeze that bottom stretchy and jump off it in one of those three or four ways that I just uh, demonstrated, though. You'll save quite a bit of time as opposed to climbing the ladder and having to uh, destroy both of those guys. This next room, there's not really much to it. Um, the only thing I will say is that this door right in front of me is a... Uh, you can fix it. So when you run in, you just do a jump and you won't really get the, uh, the transition here. Like, you'll see the door transition slightly if I just run through it. More uh, RTA time save. That's all it is. Um, you can run in and you want to try to dodge the Novas, kind of just run in and as you fall off, you know, fire a shot. Either way is just as fine. Oh, come on. The damn. Okay. Alright. Oop. Alright, so this next one. I mean, this one's really easy. There's not a whole lot of explaining to do. It's just run in. Fire diagonally upwards and run out. Pardon me. Um, this next room, though, is going to be a little bit of a doozy here. Um, so, <laughs> there's a couple ways you can approach this. Apologies if um, I cough or take a second. Um, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, so, the fastest way that you can do it is the way I'll show second. This way is another way you can do it. It's, again, it's another stretchy room. You just want to run in and jump and uh, freeze them as they're stretched out. Um, if you want to do that. The other alternative method, which is going to be your fastest way of getting through this room, is going to look something like this. I'm going to run in. I'm going to fire a missile before he... Oop, hang on. I'm going to fire a missile before he uh, does anything. Um, before he stretches, before he shoots. And I'm going to do that. So, so that was really quick. Essentially what I did was I fired a missile. I jumped up. I turned around and I fired a missile as like right before I pressed A. So it'll be, again, another one of those, like, you know, B, like, B-A, kind of, like, swiping your finger across the buttons kind of deal. Ooh, just missed it there. A little too far in on the head. Um, the, exact, the exact positioning isn't super precise, either. It'll look something like that. Um, you can wait to, for them to stretch out. That's also an op another option. It's not going to lose you too much time, um, but if you want to save the most amount of time, it'll be, uh, you know, two diagonal missiles to hit those guys. And, um, you know, jumping off their heads very quickly. I mean, you can take it as slow as you want as well. I mean, if I was to run in and do this, you know, I'll run in, I'll freeze this guy. Oops, I got hit. It's fine. And then I can just freeze that guy, take my time with it. I mean, that works too. It doesn't have to be like bang, bang. It's very quick. Um, you just, it just has to get, you know, the job done, essentially. This next room, um, again, you, so you're gonna want to keep a charge to the door. Most doors you go through, you're gonna have your, your charge being charged at all times. You're just gonna get very comfortable with having your finger, uh, depressing the B button to keep this charge, because it's super useful to have a charge available at all times. So for this, I'm gonna run in. I'm going to jump on this first platform. I'm going to fire a shot. So that was, I mean, this isn't, uh, you know, the, the, the way I'm doing it at this point is a little off. Um, let me try this one more time, actually. Um, I'm going to run in. I'm going to fire it. And then I'm just going to jump and fire a missile. And then I'm just going to you know, jump between these guys, run through them, ball jump. And then just do whatever I have to do to get to this point of the uh, the room. I'll just reset. You can take this room as slow as you want to as well. Um, so the reason I'm doing... Uh, so the reason I keep a charge shot is in case the uh, Nova is going to the right so that I can hit it like that. At this point, at, when I get to this point, I'm going to, oops, hang on, not get shot. I'm going to run, and when I jump, or, well, technically, uh, let me see, it's fire, and then I'm going to, as I jump to this platform, I fire a missile to freeze that guy. It's important to freeze that guy, because if he's stretched out, when you uh, you get him, you have to wait until he's either dethawed or you have to kill him. 
um, to get past them. You can sit here and you can you know, destroy these guys as much as you like. The one uh, note of caution I will give is this guy right here. Depending on the cycle uh, that you enter this room in, I think it's cycle based. Uh, I don't know if there's really any much extra to it, but um, if there is, I haven't found it yet, and I'm especially it would be especially helpful for one percent hard. Um, is that when you come up this way, you can wall jump off of this, um, but there's very strange occasions where he will, like, as you jump up, he'll be about to fire, and he'll just hit you, and then he'll hit you with uh, his stretch, which will, like, essentially, like, destroy you. It's a painful combination. You can see he does a lot of damage, too. The head itself does uh, 62, and then... Oops, hang on. It's a... I'm gonna die here. Uh, I think there's way too much. It's it's a good one-two combo, especially if you've got uh, not a whole lot of energy. Fire missile. You can just dodge these guys or go right through them. And again, at, but at this point, I've got a uh, another charge shot uh, ready and waiting. So as I'm coming through here, I'm just gonna climb the uh, the ledge and uh, shoot the shot. So again, I'll just come through as I wall jump. I just as I climb the ledge, I fire just to try to kill that guy on the the, the ground here. Um, as I'm running through then, I'm going to wait to fire a missile, I'll jump over this guy, and then I'll fire the missile, because these two are crumble blocks, as you can see. Uh, and I freeze this guy so that way he doesn't snipe me, or um, stretch out and block my progress or hit me. Just, you know, health preservation is a must at this point. Um, and then right after that, I'm just going to fall right down, and then we're going to move on to the next room. So this next room, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um... You can either have a fully charged beam ready to go, and you can jump over this pit uh, and pseudo screw right through the Nova, and then continue onwards. The other method that uh, I try to do, it, it's really dependent on where you fire a missile and where you get the, um, you know, where the Nova is. You can angle down as you enter, fire a, uh, you know, a missile, and then just do like two very sh well. Okay, hang on. He's not gonna troll. Very, two very short hops across. I, that, I'm pretty sure that's the fastest way you're going to get through that room uh, almost always. <laughs> so again, like, and, and you can, it, it's kind of, you know, important where you fire it. Um, you want it to be close enough to where it'll angle and hit, so you want to hit it, like, right before, like, you want to fire the missile as you're running, like, right about here. Because then it's going to curve and hit this guy. I mean, you can wait as well, so he's like right in the middle. You want to do it like right before you hit the edge and then uh, jump immediately after you fire. Um, just like, you know, you'll get used to that uh, after doing it a lot, trust me. Um, but the other one's just, like super easy. Um, you're just going to pseudo screw right through them. This next room is going to be interesting. Um, there's a very fast way to do it, and then there's the way that takes a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna depress the right trigger. Um, I'm going to, and as I run in, I'm gonna fire three missiles, only three. And I'm just gonna spam it as soon as I enter the room, so just like this. Now the reason it's three is because that third missile will freeze this guy in this exact position. And it'll allow us to get up there if that guy was, if that fucking side hopper wasn't being a troll. Um... If he wasn't being an enormous troll, we could have just jumped right up there, but it'll done, re you know, not slowing down to show that off. It'll look like this. Because as soon as he, you could jump on this frozen guy and get right up there, right to the eye door. Oh, nice. Um, the other way, of course, you can just come up this way. And these guys take two missiles to kill. We're charge beam. Now they're just giving me green axe. That's the other way you can do it. Um, just jump through that little metal here. And then just take out the two guys up here. And then you got another eye door. 
we'll save right here. Um, so we've got a, the, the, a, another beam core. It's the second beam core uh, of the run. And, you know, it's going to be, um, it's, it's going to be pretty easy. Um, if, you, if it's set up correctly, easy. you know, you shouldn't be dying to this one. Um, so what I'm going to do here is as I'm running in, I'm going to hit this ledge. I'm going to do a small hop and I'm going to fire a missile. Now, what, the reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to fire a missile as I'm running forward, as I fall off. So that way I can... I'm not hitting it for some reason. What the fuck? Why is it not hitting? Is it more so this? Doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. I feel like it's supposed to be that second uh, ledge. Just missing though. No. It might be a small hop off the ledge. That's what I'm thinking. Not like a small hop and then continue onwards. I think it's a small hop off the ledge to try to get that uh, missile to get past those. Let me see. No. Or is it more so this? Hang on, it might be this. Yeah, it might be that. So the reason you do that is uh, you want to activate the, uh, the beam core. Um, you can only do that by hitting him. Ooh, that was a tank. Ooh, not even a double-double. Shoot. So... The reason you go in and you want to fire a missile as early as possible to hit the, uh, the little scientist there is because the fight doesn't start until it takes damage. So again, you can come in here and just you run in and fire and do that. So the re so the way I'm setting this up is uh, I'm standing along this right wall here. I'm setting up doubles here right now. You can do it without doubles, but I'm going to show you the double method. I'm going to set right here, jump, and then I'm going to fire two missiles downwards. That wasn't a double. I've already kind of missed this window, I think. Nope, that was a double. Okay. So you kind of see what I did there. I waited as he was coming towards me, and then I jumped up here, and then I came back down. I fired two missiles downwards to try to hit him in the same spot. Once the uh, you know the bottom of the core got to about this height, so like right here, is when I started to come this way. Uh, and then as soon as I got here, I just did a very, you know, I just wall jumped off and I arced over it. So I'll do this a few times just so you can kind of see like what I'm doing to set this up. Um, it's... To me, it's one of, like, the easier doubles to, like, practice. It was the second one. So I'll wait here. He's, like, right there. And I'll just jump to the left. Fire two missiles down. I tinked right there. And now I'm just going to jump over him. Fire two missiles down. And I hit both of those missiles. That's, like, the one of the more consistent doubles that you can get there if it's done. That's the one setup that I found that is, like, super consistent. Um, there are probably other methods that you can do to set up that core um, to double it but i haven't really because of the small room you know you, you can't really do like the the first kind of double that i showed in the first one where you're just kind of doing something like that but i mean you can also if you don't really want to go toe to toe with this thing and come up here and just do something like this you just trap them here and fire downwards <clears throat> It only takes four missiles to kill. And again, the sweet spot is right where it's floating. So if you can destroy it on that sweet spot, um, that's bonus points because then it's just going to spawn immediately, um, as does all of the um, the Corexes when they uh, are killed on their sweet spot. They'll no flying around, nothing else. They'll just be available immediately. <clears throat> this one more time. Run in, fire the missile, stand back here. That was a double. That was a double. Easy. Easy peasy. See? Uh, and now this gives us the wide beam, and it's very important that we press this so that we to end the timer uh, and return the uh, station to a normal state. As soon as that box leaves, you can just start running. And now you can see that um, our beam has three segments. So now our beam has three, uh, you can see as it hits the wall, there's three, uh, like, explosion marks as it, as it makes contact. Um, so now it's got three 
parts. Each part of the beam at full charge is worth uh, deals 15 damage. So if you hit all three, you're dealing 45, which is going to be very important. Um, the busted beam also is it's still busted. It still has a flare, as you can see, uh, on a full charge. It's just now purple instead of the red that you're used to. It's the pink, uh, like pur pink purple into blue. Ew. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, I'm sorry if the mic is picking that up. Um, so now we just have to get back out the same way we came. Easy, right? Um, quick save here. As you come out, you're going to have to hold a charge here um, to take care of this one enemy. You're going to want to take out out this guy, that guy specifically. He'll block your way. You can only, you can hit him uh, just you know, running forward. As you can see, like only two shots hit him, uh, hit the side hopper. You're just going to fall and fire uh, just to keep moving on, and you're just going to keep running. Um, again, when you get to this next room, it'll be the same way that you uh, did it in the first time. Literally the same way. You can either jump or freeze. That doesn't matter too much, um, whatever method you choose. This next method is going to be a little different, though. Because instead of going all like throughout that room, that snake pattern, we're going to do something a little different. Um, when I come into this room, I'm going to jump up onto this platform, and then I'm going to wall jump twice and grab the ledge uh, to climb up. So it'll be here, wall jump, wall jump, climb. I mean, you could also kind of, you know, do that if you wanted to, just... If you wanted to do that, but the uh, the wall jump method is uh, pretty consistent, and it's really quickly. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's really quick, especially because like you'll grab the ledge like almost immediately. Now for this, this one can be a little tricky. You, there's two methods of when you're falling through here, and I'll save right here just to kind of show you. I can either fire a missile downwards like this and morph as I'm falling to kind of freeze that enemy and then just fall down. And ideally, when I freeze that enemy, I'll, you know, I'll morph, I'll hit this, I'll unmorph, and then I'll just do two jumps and come down like this. The other method that you can do um, involves taking a damage boost. So if you run through here without firing a missile and just morph immediately, uh, morph and then just start holding right, You'll get a damage boost to the right, and it'll, you know, save you a few seconds to uh, take that damage, get knocked to the right, and then if, uh, you know, if it's, if you get the positioning just right, you'll end up in a spot where you'll just end up on this platform as you unmorph, and then you can just keep running. Um, those are really the two methods, the, the two best methods to get out of this room. You could go around the other way and, like, back the, the way you went through the room the first time. I wouldn't recommend it, though. It's rather slow. Um... And if you don't get the uh, the freezing, you might just fall in the lava or take a damage boost. Either way is fine. If you're gonna take the damage anyway. It's better to just morph um, so that and like just start moving right. So that way, when you hit them, uh, you keep right held. You'll just continue to move uh, in the right direction. This room is gonna be easy. Um, so this one, you just jump up on this ledge and you're just gonna weave your way through uh, these guys. You can fire up here. You know, fire diagonally upwards, whatever you need to do, just to kind of take out these guys and tag them. But again, this room is, you know, jump, weave down, jump, and then you're just going to jump right through again. Another one where you're just going to kind of fall off, and you're just going to run through the door. I mean, these are, these past three rooms, there's nothing much to them. Um, this next room, though, there's a little bit of uh, time saving you can do here. So if I hold the charge to this door, I'm probably going to fail this. They can run off here. Wow, I haven't gotten that in a run in so long. Uh, so what I just did there was I ran off the ledge. I started to spin. I spun back towards the wall and got a wall jump. And was and then started holding up left. The inputs for this is are rather tricky. You're going to hold right. Then you're going to press A the moment you fall off the cliff. As you start to spin, you're going to immediately hold left. And then at the wall, you're going to press A into the right. And then you're just gonna hold up right after the uh, after the wall jump, um, so that way, or you know, and continue holding A, so it'll look. And you you have to hold B the entire time you do this. It's imperative that you have a charge shot ready because you need to kill that guy. And if it, since the buttons are like very precise, I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're very comfortable and practice this a bit. Um, because there's the chance that you press up by accident and you kind of you know do what I just did, or you know you could. 
kind of fail and go for a swim. You know, do lava dive is what we call it when you uh, just run through the lava. I mean, conversely, you can also just, you know, run right through the lava because you don't really have to worry about it. It is usually slightly faster to just climb the ledge. And then this one's always faster to just kind of jump right across. So let's go back through this again. We're just going to, again, I'm going to go through this and then just R-shot your entire way across. R-shot again to uh, take them out before they hit you, and then this last one always just, it's always faster to do this small little hop. You'll take some damage, but it, it's not, um, it's negligible damage at this point when you've got, when you should have mostly full health. Um, okay. <laughs> so this next room is actually, I, I really like this strategy. This is probably my favorite portion of this entire section. And you can kind of see the entire time that we've been doing this. Um, it, just how, like, uh, intensive it can be and, like, how much skill can, you know, you can, like, show off. In this one section alone because it's so like fast paced and quick moving this next section is going to be uh what we what i like to call like climb part two or like the second climb or essentially it's just swag strats um so you know you can you know when you come through here you can you know you can climb this however you want okay you could do this like the slow method and like this would be constitute as the slow method i can't wall jump off enemies this isn't super metroid idiot you know you could do something like that or just climb the ladders or kill those enemies as you go that's one way to go about it that way i would go about it the way i tend to go about this is um a little faster so i'll do it real quick and then we'll walk through it <sighs> nice eating input I don't know why it didn't spin jump. That's unfortunate. It's very frustrating too. Ah, come on. So something like that. Alright. That was a little sloppy. My fingers are... Again, <laughs> my fingers aren't the best right now because they're I'm a little, again, under the weather, but... Oh, let's walk through this step by step. So when you come in here, you're going to land here and you're going to turn around and fire a missile immediately. Then you're going to jump on this, uh, the frozen head and immediately jump and grab the ladder and jump up there. Then as soon as you are ready, you're going to jump up. And uh, as soon as you get up here, you're going to jump and freeze this enemy. You're going to stand on this enemy and fire a missile upwards to try to freeze that guy there. And then as you climb and activate this guy that I'm standing on, you want to jump off the ladder, kick off of it and fire a missile downwards. So again, um, it, it happened a little quickly. Fire up, I'm about here, and then fire a missile downwards as you jump towards them. Once you're about here, it's imperative that you jump off this wall, then this wall, and fire a missile downwards. That's the way you're gonna be able to do that most consistently, um, almost like 100% of the time. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it's not without its flaws, of course. I mean, there's, you know, obvious ways that you can mess up you know you saw i kind of beefed it a little bit but here we go we'll do it one more time and i'm gonna keep missiles at the ready at all times i missed damn it all right here we go what the heck dude why am i straight jumping Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, here we go for real this time. <laughs> Dude, I suck. And as I jump up here, you see I kind of just... 
press down twice as I just jump up here just to kind of morph you can jump through this door as well because it's a door fix um, as you can see you know you you just roll right through it it'll have a small adjustment that's only if you're aiming for a good RTA time if not just don't worry about it or if you're going for in-game time then you roll right through the door all right so at this point you should be right here in morph ball mode we're just gonna roll and lay a bomb here and again bounce as it goes off and we're gonna unmorph as we fall charge beam is important here um as you walk right through here just let it go because you should have a shot ready just you know in this way you know you, as soon as you come down you don't have to stop running and then you're just going to keep firing now you could do what i just did there um which is when i got a speed boost i'm just as i'm running in i'm just firing clearing up blocks and then i'm trying to time my jump with speed booster so when i time my jump with speed booster i'm going to immediately land and look I'm going to hold up left. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hold any uh, up left. I'm going to hold the L trigger to, so I can start, you know, diagonal, looking diagonally. Then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to immediately turn around and fire and uh, shoot those blocks. It'll look a little like this. Oh, this guy's purple now, by the way. Why am I doing that? Oh, what am I doing? I'm sorry. What am I doing? I'm sorry, everybody. And, of course, those blocks never reform, so whatever. Um, the other way you do go about it, again, is just, you know, just walk right up. Something like that. And then this guy, you can climb it up a little bit. Or you can just wall jump and fire, you know. Kind of wall jump right off and fire upwards to, to uh, shoot the, um, the little flying guy. Then just have one at the ready, and then as you land, just fire. Um, so again, I'll just show this real quick. I mean, you'll see it in a second when I go and do this. Um, for realsies. Oh my god, freeze! Okay, whatever. You don't have to freeze the Nova, um, it's just easier to do it, um, because it'll get in your way otherwise. The reason I hold the charge there is that when I land, I can just release the button. Um, again, I'm literally just releasing and running is what essentially what I'm doing here. Because when I land on the corner here, I'm just going to hit him with the charge shot. And that's the emergency section of this. Um, so I'm going to save here just for formality. Assuming that everything's not messed up and we're just going to... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up the other save that I have with the timer. And I'm just going to play through it um, the optimal fast way. Um, to kind of just show off, you know, what it'll look like optimized. I expect to mess a few things up here. My fingers are, like, more than a little sore. Of course, by this point, I'll have it. I would have a uh, the Shine Spark on that button anyway that I would just you know use the beginning but it's you know it happens whatever I mean tutorial it happens but let's uh, let's do this <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this charge as I run right through just so that way as soon as I go through the door I can fire it now it really doesn't matter, and I'm just going to tumble forward. You can tumble, you can just not do anything, it's fine. I'm just going to roll into this guy. Oop. Bark, look at the Franker Z bar. Here is he bark so free. Bark, 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 Franker Z. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. We have a song, thanks to uh, Jagger G. Um, that goes with this music. 
You can see I kind of delayed uh, moving forward a little bit in order to avoid getting hit by the um, the lava plume there. Oh, he did the thing! Damn it! It's the one thing I was trying to get him to do the entire time. Is that's what can happen. Is he can just snipe you as you're jumping up for no reason. That was a tank. That was a double. You could clearly see that one was a double. In the horizontal sweet spot. 4, 27, 46. Disgusting. That was with uh, a few errors of beam. You know, a uh, single double, but... 425, what was that? 425, 34? That's pretty good. I stutter before that door because it uh, won't actually... I'll end up running into it and lose all my momentum. Um... And it's better to have momentum through the door and wait until as it's opening to uh, actually move towards it. You can see there when I took the damage boost, I unmorphed and I actually landed on the platform. I just fire diagonally upwards as I come through the room. Avoid that shot. I'll charge a beam here so I can damage boost through that Nova. I'll probably mess this up. I messed it up. I'll just run through the lava now. No big deal. R shot that guy. Alright, now the moment of truth. Do I mess this up? All right, easy, right? Very easy, very quick. Um, and I'll save here. Cool. We started at what? The timer started at 2.50 um, for this segment on the save, and now the timer is at uh, 2.53. Perfect. Um, that's the end of this tutorial. Again, I'm, I apologize if I only covered the emergency portion of this. Um, I apologize for like the coughing and uh, other... Uh, noises if they came through the mic um i do sincerely apologize um but i hope that this was helpful to get through the emergency section and that um hopefully the run through at the ends where you kind of just saw it in one long stretch uh, was helpful i don't know if that like going forward that would be beneficial or that's something that you know you guys might want to see um or if i could uh, i could probably just do a quick like you know, optimized section of each area, either at the end of a section that I cover, or, um, you know, go back and do the ones that I've already covered, um, and upload them as separate videos, and then just put them in the playlist right afterwards. Um, just let me know if that, you know, is, you think is beneficial, um, to see, um, after the explanations, or, you know, um, whatever the case may be. So the next portion that I'll do is uh, it's going to be saving the animals, number one. Number two will be um, we'll get power bombs, and uh, we'll probably end it when we get back to the ship. So I'll go through that entire section of animals, sector five to power bombs, get back to the ship. And then um, the video after that will probably cover um, one to two boss fights along with, you know, getting to each one uh, optimally. I mean, most of the stuff is, um, I mean, most of the movement stuff shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see what happens during these videos. Uh, again, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, apologies that this was not uploaded last week, um, but I needed to try and attempt to raise funds. I still am trying to raise funds to 
get a new laptop as this one's literally being held together with tape. Um, so hopefully I'm able to continue to produce these uh, semi-consistently for you guys. If not, um, my laptop crapped out on me and I don't know when I'm going to be able to resume uploading these. So I'll hopefully see you guys in a week or two.